what four days of rain looks like. We've had no rain for months. Last decent rainfall we had was in June, beginning of June. Now, mid-October, and this is four days worth of rain coming down here. The first bit of sunshine we've had. A very long way down, so I better step away from the edge. Well, this track seems to lead down here, and whoa, yes, gotta be careful. But oh, okay, okay. That looks a little bit difficult to go down there. Um, I'm sure there is, I'm sure there is another way down there. Um, this is the one. Well, I've somehow come down near the, ooh, the bottom somewhere. Um, yes, the, the, the fire has certainly messed up where the tracks are, but that's okay, we'll make our own tracks. I'm used to this sort of stuff. Ugh. Well, mind you, you have to be very careful when you do go off track because anything can happen. Totally different environment here. Oh. Oh. Uh, Jurassic environment. That's where we need to get to. And it's wet. It's slippery. Oh, and there's dangers, hidden dangers here. Oh. Oh wow, oh my goodness. I'll say this, if you have walking issues, this is not the place for you. I can tell you that now, this is slippery. And look at the view. That is truly a spectacular sight here at the bottom of the falls. And it is here in Kuringai Chase National Park in Sydney. And uh, I can tell you now, it is worth the visit. It's, it's a walk, but if you're fit, you can do it, come along to here. walk through there you know and that's gonna be tricky and if I go there you see look for a path as you can see it's a very temperate rainforest area here and uh, so there are uh, it's very different to the bush up up above on the ridge there and uh, I have to, it's very difficult underfoot. I feel like I'm expecting to see a dinosaur come through it here. Take your time. Whatever you're in this sort of environment, when it's wet, mossy and slippery, ah, number one. Take your time. Ah. Oh, took a tumble. Woo. Ah. Oh, well, that's, oh, I took a tumble. Ah, still all right. I just managed to, my ribs went straight into the rock, but I managed to cushion myself. And, uh, and that's with taking it slowly and steady. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Uh, I didn't break my ribs, not like last time when I, that tree caught me. So, you know. Careful, you can just, whoa, see that tree? Oh, but nothing's broken, thank goodness for that. I'm in the bush all by myself. I still got to get myself out of here. Mate. But that's the part of life, isn't it? If you don't want to live, stay home. Oh, that, that was slippery. Just went, ooh. Okay, now I've got some slippery here. Okay, now once I get onto this bit, I should be firmer footing. That's better. And there's no real track here at the moment, so gotta make my own track. This, this is what I mean by you gotta be fit to 
come here in reasonable condition because ah, this is enough real track do you think these trees are dead? there's grass trees here they're just as well adapted to bushfires as the gum trees are you can see the green happening there these grass trees these are, these are grass trees okay that's where I'll go up there if you ever feel like you're unsure of where you are if you lost track I know I came down from the, up, from up the ridge there just take your time and have a think to settle down so the last thing you want to do is panic to settle down relax because we all have an inbuilt compass believe it or not we do uh, it's just over the last few centuries we've kind of been a bit more civilized we kind of lost that some of us have it more than others uh, animals do uh, so take your time have a drink of water give yourself a few minutes then go okay where do I go remember remember one thing water is always downhill always in the valley if you're if you stuck go near where water is but anyway time to get up see that's the tree I was looking for this one here too always get a marker reference whenever you go into the bush or the woods so I know where I am so if I go anywhere I can go okay I spot that I know where I am now I've got to get up here made it I was lucky I was very lucky and because I went into the rock thing lucky oh, I still feel it but that's okay it's just bruised it's not broken thank God for that a broken rib have you ever experienced a broken rib you know what I mean it's painful ah uh, that's just bruised now it's time for me to go home I need a drink <laughs>